During this week in November, America has a long time tradition, first Armistice Day and now Veterans Day, that we honor those who have given their lives defending us and providing us our American freedoms. We also honor and remember family and friends who are currently serving in the armed forces of our country, particularly those in combat regions. This year, it's somewhat ironic, uh, Veterans Day was on 11-11-11. And at the end of the First World War, the armistice was signed between the Allied powers and Germany on the 11th hour, the 11th day of the 11th month. Today, we remember all military personnel and veterans, those deceased, those presently serving, those retired, and those in veterans' hospitals and veterans' homes. Helping with our brief activity today are Dorothy Behrman, who served in the jungles of Okinawa in the Second World War, Keith Rector, who was a combat veteran in Korea, Tom Reed, a combat veteran in Vietnam, and Nathaniel Erickson, who recently served in the war in Iraq. At this time, we would like to have anyone else who has served in an actual combat zone to please stand. <clears throat> now we would like anyone else who has served in the armed forces of our country, uh, whether in active duty, reserves, or National Guard, if they would please stand. Thank you very much. And we also recognize that some of you have family members who recently or at present are serving in the combat zones. Today, we remember in a special way a member of our Salem family. We remember Sergeant Gary M. Culbertson, U.S. Army, who was killed in action on October 12th 1968 in the Republic of Vietnam. Let us have a moment of silence in memory of Gary. As you entered the narthex this morning, you may have noticed a small table. It was set for one. The U.S. military cast is filled with symbolism. This table is one small way that we symbolize the factor, the fact that members of the Army, Air Force, Navy, Marines, and Coast Guard are missing from our midst. They are Americans' fallen comrades. The White Table. Since they are unable to be with us this morning, we honor them through the symbolism of the White Table. This table, set for one, is small, symbolizing the finality of one soldier alone against his many enemies. The tablecloth is white to honor a soldier's pure heart when he answers his country's call to duty. The base. The single yellow rose symbolizes remembrance displayed in a vase that reminds us of the families and loved ones of our comrades who keep their memories alive lest we forget. The red ribbon on the vase is tied so prominently as a reminder of the blood shed to protect the liberty so loved by our country. Then the plate. A slice of lemon is on the plate to remind us of those who have gone on and their bitter fate. The salt on the plate is symbolic of the family's tears. The glass, yes, the glass is inverted, for they cannot toast with us this morning. A black napkin is laid on the table for the sorrow of those who were captured as prisoners. A white candle is placed on the table 
as a symbol for our desire for world peace. The chair, yes, the chair is empty, for they are not here today. We depended on and still depend on their might, bravery, and dedication as they have maintained for us our American freedom. God bless them and God bless America. Let us now sing our final hymn, 566, My Country Tis of Thee. Reaching out as a heart and hands. 